a video by the students and staff at the California School for the Blind. The image is of a drawing by our white Cane Day logo winner, Oscar. It is a black ink drawing of a person wearing a ball cap and walking with a white cane. In front of the person is a stop sign. Above the picture is wrapped text reading, California School for the Blind. And below the picture, it says White Cane Day 2020. Ciao, my name is Andy Tom and I'm a classroom teacher. Bonjour, je, je suis l'assistante de l'enseignant and je m'appelle Debbie. Oh, hola, soy Miguel. Hello, my name is Gabby. Hello, my name is Gage. Hey, how? My name is Andrew. Konnichiwa. My name is Jaden with Piggly Wiggly. And, and we, we are CSC. First up is a fun White Cane Day song. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Chris Marcus Garcia. Hello, I'm Lucasio Jacob Matusa. I'm Mia Suarez. And I'm Mishka Gutierrez. And I'm Sedaya Bates. We are 54. And, and this, this is our is a white game day song. Take it away, Mr. Wisha. Okay, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Sweep your king do 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 sweep your king do 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 sweep your king do 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 sweep your king. Side to 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 side Break it down, do 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 do. Rita, relax. Do your best to do 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 do. Do your best to do 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 do. your best to do 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 do. your best. Celebrate do 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 Celebrate do 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 Celebrate do 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 White Cane Day! Did you hear my blocks? White Cane Day is recognized in California on October 15th. Here are some facts about the cane. Hi everyone, it's Maria. Today our presentation is about White Cane Law. Ever since President Lyndon B. Johnson proclaimed October 15th of each year to be White Cane Safety Day, the White Cane Law has been central to the safety of people who are blind or visually impaired as they travel and go about their daily activities. The white cane law is under enforced and more people need to be aware about it. Some policemen don't even know about the white cane law. Our presentation is on white cane law. Every driver shall yield the right of way to any blind pedestrian carrying a clear white cane or anyone with a clear sign that clearly states that they are employed accredited school for guide dogs and that says that they are training this guide dog as a guide dog for the blind. Maria Di Bernardo, I am TVI and classroom teacher for the Kennedy High School Mainstream Program at CSB. 
This is how we celebrate White Cane Day. We're going to say how White Cane Law affects us and what it means to us. Hi, I'm Michael Hart, TA for the High School Mainstream Classroom, and our first student up is going to be... Hi, my name is Athena Scoplay, and I am a student at California School for the Blind. One thing about White Cane Law is to not give verbal cues or directions to blind pedestrians as they're listening to everything that's going around them in traffic, and such distractions could be distracting. Hi, I'm Carlos, a student at California School for the Blind. Um... Another thing about the white cane law is um, don't distract the uh, people whose vision is or blind that's walking in the street. Hey, it's David, student at the California School for the Blind. Uh, for drivers who are driving, don't honk at someone with a white cane because it can startle them and make them stop in the street, disrupting traffic. Hi, my name is Malibu. I'm from California School for the Blind. And what... It's important to me about White Cane Day is the laws and the rules that the visual community have to follow in order for the BI and blind community to operate in the community. A word from a cane story. Hi, my name is Kimberly. Today I'm going to be sharing the story of my white cane. Once upon a time, I went, was at school. Then we went in a car to the library with my white cane. When we got to the library, we went inside and the cane helps me to find things in my path and we went to the book area we looked at some books and some puzzles then after we got in the car back to school the end Hi, my name is Clayton. Did you know that inventors in some countries have made white canes with devices that detect close objects? Hello, my name is Oscar. I go to Aruba to make a cane. There are three kinds of items. There are aluminum, fiberglass and carbon fiber that makes a cane. Some canes are straight and some canes are holy. I'm Lucy and it is legal to put a white cane through security at an airport, but you have to go through an X-ray machine. My name is Mary, and did you know in some states it's illegal to impersonate a person who is blind or visually impaired? That can lead up to a fine or jail time. Wow, that was a lot. Let's take a break with some jokes. In this next clip, you'll meet some of CSB's comedians. The Jolly Green Giant is the class teacher known as Cindy Green. The students include Faith as Elmo, Jose Adrian as Drake, Yasmin as Shaggy, Jack as Justin Bieber, and Dolores as Lady Gaga. Hello everyone and welcome to White Cane Day. This is the Jolly Green Giants class and we're here to tell you some jokes. So our first guest is Elmo. So Elmo, how do you get a squirrel to like you? You act like a nut. <laughs> okay, Elmo, what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Yummy, 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 yummy. All right, Elmo, what kind of cane does a gingerbread man use? A candy cane. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. And so our next guest is Drake. All right, Drake. Why did the moon skip dinner? Because it was full. Wah, wah, wah. And Drake, why did the broom get a poor grade in school? Because it was sweeping during class. Boom. All right, and Drake, why does the what, what does the white cane say to its tip every morning before they start their commute? Let's roll. Boom. Right. Okay, and next we have the famous Shaggy. So Shaggy, what is a balloon's favorite kind of music? Pop. <laughs> All right, Shaggy. Why does Humpty Dumpty love Autumn? Because he had a great fall. And one more, Shaggy. What did the ID cane say to the folding cane? Lighten up, dude. <laughs> All right. All right, and now we have a very special guest, Justin Bieber. Okay, Justin, what has hands but cannot clap? A clock. Go, go, go. All right, Justin, what did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. <laughs> and Justin, why did the old fashioned non folding cane make such a terrible boss? Because it's too rigid. All right. And then we have Lady Gaga with us. So Lady Gaga, how do all the oceans say hello to each other? They wave. That's funny. Okay, Lady Gaga, why did the students eat their homework? Because their teacher says a piece of cake. Really? And Lady Gaga, why did the white cane quit its job as a waiter? Because the tips were lousy. <laughs> okay, one more joke, group. Which animal is the least trustworthy? One, two, three. The, the cheetah. Uh. All right. Now for some more white cane tips, but not the marshmallow kind. Hello, happy white cane day. This is CSB's Newark class, the freshmen and sophomores. We're gonna tell you a little bit about the history of the white cane. Hi, I'm Mariam. James Biggs invented the white cane in 1921 after losing his sight in an accident. Hi, my name is Natalia and materials that were used in early time to for white cane was sticks, white paint, and red paint. And the material that they use today is um, plastic or aluminum or metallic and white paint, red paint, or elastic elastic bands. Here are some tips about using the cane for people that are visually impaired. Hi, my name is Tony. If while using your cane, if there's an obstacle above you, make sure to put your arm up in front of your forehead to protect yourself. Hi, my name is Mindy Salas. <laughs> These are some of my tips for a visually impaired person using a cane. Um, to always look ahead and never down, so you can learn to trust your cane so that you... Hi, my name is Gia Rodriguez, and here's a cane tip for visually impaired people. And it is to always, or like practice using your cane because without it, um, 
you may trip and injure yourself if you don't use it. Here are some tips for people that are sighted when you encounter a person who is visually impaired using a cane. Hello, my name is Eddie, and um, I have one tip for sighted people. When you see somebody, wait, when you see a blind person with a cane, don't think they're fragile. Treat them with respect. Um, hi, I'm Jessica, and my tip to sighted people is if you see a blind person walking with a white cane, don't assume that they're deaf and don't scream in their face. They just can't see. Don't scare them. Hi, my name is Melanie, and he and here's some tips for sighted people. So when you see a blind person coming in front of you, please move out of the way. That was so they can not bump into you or anybody else. Thanks for listening. Happy White Cane Day. 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 My name is Katie Smith, and I'm an orientation mobility teacher at the California School for the Blind. With me, I have Christy Varela, Evelyn, and Anaya. We're going to be talking about how to be a good friend to someone with a white cane. First, we have Evelyn. Hi, my name is Evelyn. And if I had a blind friend who, uh, if I had a blind friend who dropped something, I would help them Pick it up. Anaya, you're up. Hi, I'm Anaya. And when I'm with my friends, if one of my friends needed to go somewhere and they didn't know where they were going, I would ask them where they needed to go. And then I would ask them if they need help to where they need to go. If they say yes, I will guide them there. And if they say no, I will not. Hi, my name is Christy Barella and I'm an orientation and mobility specialist. When your guide offers offering someone a guide, you want to let them take the back of your arm and you want to walk at your normal pace. And remember the person who you're guiding can always say no. Never touch someone's cane when you're guiding them. They can use their cane on their own as you're moving. Let's sweep right along to another cane story. My name is Xavier and I want to tell you a story about my white cane. My white cane will tell me when there's a curb and I step onto the curb. My white cane will tell me when I'm veering and my white cane will help me recover the veer. My white cane is a very, very helpful tool. Happy white cane day, the end. Not to be a cane in the mud, but we will now pencil in how the pandemic has affected us. How has the pandemic affected blind and visually impaired people? Jake? Hi, I am Jake Gleason, and due to the epidemic, it is hard for us to socialize, seeing as we can't go to school and sometimes can't even leave our homes. Eman? My name is Eman Bard, and um, O&M has been a struggle for us because we cannot go to our instructors and practice O&M out in the community. Jaina? Hi, my name is Gina Navarro, and while going out into the community, it's hard to get around because we cannot see socially distant markers and signs. Natalie? Hi, my name is Natalie Charles, and while going out, restrictions on public transportation makes it hard to go places. Delshawn? Hi, my name is Sean Davis, and since the pandemic, we have not had access to the same resources we normally would.
What has helped you during the pandemic? Delon. Playing musical instruments and having fun time with my family and friends has helped me during this pandemic. Mason. Walking on my treadmill and taking private voice lessons has helped me during the pandemic. Cassie. Reading books, doing art, and relaxing has helped me during the pandemic. Miriam. Reading lots of books, listening to music, and finding time for myself has helped me during this pandemic. Rolling right along with another great cane story. So Tanner Long from California School for the Blind. And today I'm going to tell you a story that I have with my white cane. Months ago, before my, before my friend moved away, me and him were going across the street to see some of our other friends, see if they wanted to ride bikes or whatever. And as soon as we got to the street, he, he just ditched me and like ran across the street and said, come on. I'm like, all right. So I took out my cane. And I go, I start walking across the street. There's one of those scooters there. You know, those ride share scooters that you can like rent and then you leave them out on the street. And, and I'm like, okay, it's a scooter. I have to go around that. So I go around it and I get across the street safely. But the moral of the story is don't ever go anywhere without a cane. If it's a foldable one, I advise getting one of those, but the moral of the story is always look out, beware of your surroundings. Happy white cane, everybody. Even though we are apart, our white canes fold us together. Happy white cane, everyone.